What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today I have been, well, I've been, I've tripped myself. I have been to Marks and Spencer's M&S and I'm going to have fish and chips, meal for one. Never had it from here before. All I can say is this little portion here, fish and chips, were £3.50. pence. Now, you can, you can see on there, it's cod, so it's decent fish. So, after seeing that, you probably think that the £3.50 pence is not too bad a price tag. Fish and chips, yeah, I know you can make, you make it yourself, you can probably buy cod, and uh, there's not a lot of chips in there, but there'll be enough for me, like I say, meal for one. The reason it's a meal for one is because I've been ditched this weekend by the missus. She's gone away to York to stay in a, 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 a house with a hot tub with the girls. She's having a girly weekend away. She ain't back till Sunday. So you know what they mean? While the cat's away, the mice will play. Dino will play. It probably won't. Uh, I've still got my daughter upstairs. She's had a Domino's today. And I'm having this. So, we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll get into this. Let's take a closer look at it because I am I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. So here it is: M&S food, meal for one, fish and chips, crispy breaded cod fillet with perfectly golden chips. Looks all right, that doesn't it? To be fair, that is the uh, nutritional information there. Five hundred and twenty-one calories for this one pack. Seventeen point one grams of fat. 1.48 grams of salt not too bad that really freezable and responsibly sourced like i said three pound and fifty pence this so that is the full list of the ingredients 50 percent potato and it is cod 28 percent quite a few allergens there we've got fish wheat flour gluten wheat oatmeal barley rye quite a few allergens but you expect that with a fish product there we go rapeseed oil sunflower oil see any beef dripping on those chips or anything no who am i kidding and that is the nutritional nutritional information in more detail if you know what you're looking at there i of course do not oh it's in, it's in a few different languages as well happy days so there's a GB sticker there, 310 grams for this all in all. This product contains raw fish and must be cooked. May contain bones. And that is the cooking instructions there. So we've got preheat up. So where it's from chilled this, it's a fresh one, it's not been frozen. So oven 20 minutes, turn chips halfway through. And reckon in, there'll probably be about 15, 16 in air fryer. We'll just play it by ear. And a bit of information there. It said cod fillet coated in breadcrumbs with chunky oven chips. So let's have a look at it. There it is. Do you know what? It, it looked small, this pack. And then I've actually looked, looking at this cod, looks all right. Looks like a decent size. So I'll get it out onto the, uh, into the tower. And I'll see you in 15 minutes. So the question is, will it all fit on one Tray. That is the fish there. I'm going to put the fish on the left hand side because I do think that we can actually count the chips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. The chips, although they look chunky, there's only probably two that are actually decent size. So We'll give this a go now. So I'll bring you back in 15, 16 minutes when this is ready to, to scrub. So it is there, it's in the tower now. Uh, I went for 180 for 17 minutes. I just wing it to be honest. It's, it shouldn't take too long. Um, I'll obviously keep an eye on it and then I'll get it scrubbed. I have made a bit of a, well, it's a massive error, to, I'll be honest, it's a massive error. It's a rookie error. I've not got any butter. The missus, before she went to York for the weekend, said, you need to go to the shop and get some butter if you're having anything with, for bread and butter. And I forgot and I didn't go. 
Oh, so I've got no bread and butter, no mushy peas, no curry sauce. What a rookie error that is. Oh well, I'll try it as it is. So it's been 17 minutes. And I'd say that that is just about done. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get it plated up. So the batter looks good, the chips look decent. The probably only problem is it's oh I stuck. I didn't think it'd stick to the it only stuck a little bit there. But the only problem is it might be just a little too small on its own because it looks a bit pitiful, doesn't it? Fish and chips for one. It's not bad. Could have done with some peas, but my own fault. I should have got some MS mushy peas. Well, I'm going to get some salt on it, some vinegar. Salt or vinegar first, which is the which is the way to go. We'll go with vinegar and then salt. There we go. Bang on. Right then, let's have a taste. So oh, it is all important taste time. We're going to start with the, one of these big chunky chips. They look decent. Nice. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Perfect chip that. The only problem I've got with it is you only got two decent sized ones. All the rest are a bit little stumpy ones like this. But they're still thick. Not many, um, there's not many like this, what we call, what, what we call in this house, um, skags. You know, like ends and stuff like that, we call them skags. What do you call them? Let me know in the comments what you guys call them. The chips that everyone leaves at the end and they're, they're not, they haven't got a lot of potato in. There ain't any on this really, to be fair. But they're all hard and they haven't got any potato in. Missed my mouth then. Decent these. That's that. Nice, nice chip that. Right, so the fish fillet is very small, very thin. However, that is it, it does look decent. It's cod. Nice white fillet, look at that. And the batter looks okay, but it is it's a small meal this. Mm. Mm. But it's a tasty one. Oh wow. Hot. Mm. That fish. It's fantastic, really, really tasty. The pieces, they're like the fish flakes, they're just like falling away. Mm. It's not batter, it's breadcrumbs. Crispy breaded. Normally I go for batter. I didn't read this properly. I don't know if they did an option with batter, but these are breadcrumbs. So it's not the traditional like sort of texture. It's not it's not got that crispy batter. It's actually breadcrumbs, so it's nice though, the, the actual fish is cod and you can really really tell the difference. Mm. You can really tell the difference between the cod and like that, that white fish or Minced white fish, I think it is, or Alaska pollock. Cod, fantastic. Mm. The chips are nice, fluffy. This is really good. Only problem is it's £3.50, but you don't get a lot. But you're definitely paying for quality over quantity here. That is just some quality, that's quality fish, quality chips are all thick, even though they're a bit small. That 
really impressed with that. I'd buy that again at three minutes, three pound fifty. If your budget can afford that, then I'd definitely buy that again. The fish is magnificent. Obviously, it's just a bit small, but you're paying for, like I say, quality, not quantity. Thank you for watching, and uh, I have tomorrow. <clears throat> She's gone all weeky on the misses, so uh, tomorrow I've got that to try. So we're having a roast chicken dinner. So that should be all right. An M&S, not just any roast chicken dinner. An M&S roast chicken dinner. Did somebody say just Fantastic. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again.